Good morning guys, it's Sophie. I look like this because it is first thing on a Saturday morning and I'm decluttering at the minute. I'm decluttering, cleaning, paring down stuff. Um, I definitely think, I feel like I'm maybe a little bit high. G6 feels better. Um, yeah, so essentially wedding's done, study's done at least until January and I've been in this house so much and I just, I need to sort it. I feel like I want to sort it, I want to do some decorating, but first what I want to do, because it just makes everything easier, is go through my stuff, find out what I need, what I don't need. Um, I'm filming little bits of this in vlogs, you might have seen that in my last video, um, but I did want to do books with you guys as a whole video because I thought you might be interested in that. Um, so I'm doing fiction um, and hopefully I'll finish fiction in this video. Um, it might be a long one, so probably a cup of tea needed. I'm expecting this to take me most of today. Um, so what I started with, I've done, uh, here's one I've done earlier, um, is going through my books. I'm pulling out books I've rated two stars or below. So I've done a few purges in the not that distant past. And I would have hoped to have caught a lot of these. Um, some of them are more recent, which is why they're still here. Some I clearly thought I liked more than I did, but if they're two stars or below and I read them, I have to get rid of them because that means I didn't like the process of reading them. Um, so I'm just going to show you what they are briefly. So I have The Wasp Factory, I have Find Me by Andrea Ackman, I have Trust Exercise by Susan Choi, I have Burnt Sugar by Avni Doshni, Swallowing Mercury by Willotta Gregg. Long Live the Post Horn um, by Vigis Horth, Nevada by Imogen Binney, The Rapture by Kurt Claire McGlasson, The Dinner Guest by Gabriella Ibarra, and I'm pretty sure I kept this because I like the cover so much. Black Car Burning by Helen Mort, Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James, The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2. Um, I don't know if volume one's gone, but if I'm gonna get rid of two, I'm gonna get rid of one. So that's pile one. And then pile two, I have American Elsewhere by Robert Jackson Bennett. The Girl at the Door by Veronica Ramo. All Days and Night by Peter Stamm. I kept this because of the cover. I love this cover so much. A Spool of Blue Thread by Anne Tyler. Sour Heart by Jenny Yang. An Inventory of Losses by Judith Solansky. Men Without Women by Hiroko Murakami, Weathering by Lucy Wood, and The Crow Girl by Eric Axelsund. And I kept this as a one star because it's one of the books I really hated. I did a whole video about how much I dislike this book. But all of those are automatically leaving my house. Um, some of them, like particularly American Elsewhere, I feel like I remembered liking it, but clearly the review at the time, I actually didn't. Um, so it has to go, and that's why I've kept it, is because when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, I thought I liked that one. Um, but what we're gonna do today, so that's two stars, they're gonna go, I'm probably gonna try and sell them. There's like this book selling website um, that I've used a couple times, and then the ones that don't sell, or don't sell for any like significant money that's worth like buying boxes and stuff, um, I will donate. There are some arcs in here, and those will go straight in the recycling. <laughs> um, but what I'm gonna do today, and I'm gonna share a little bit of B-roll, but mostly it's gonna be me doing some deciding, is I'm gonna pull all my three star books off my shelves too. And I don't think there's that many. I Three stars is definitely my most rated um, book, but I don't think there's gonna be as many as I think. I think a lot of these are four and five stars from my previous culls. Um, and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is decide whether I want to keep them and the reason why um, and whether they maybe deserve an extra star like on reflection uh, the ones I'm automatically getting rid of and then the maybes which we're going to debate the other thing I'm going to do as I go around is if there's books that I've read but I think like it's maybe just time to let them go or that I don't have uh, like as strong a memory of them if I go through them and maybe I rated them four stars but I literally can't remember anything, those will go to but I'll talk through those separately. Um, my necklace is all messed up. Um, the only thing I am going to keep where it's three stars um, and I'm like eh, is classics because I think it's interesting to have those to talk about in terms of like American Psycho, I think I gave two stars. I didn't enjoy reading it because that's how I rate my books but I'm glad to have read it and have it 
Um, so they get like a free pass. If I count them as a classic that most people would count as a classic, and they get three or two stars, the one stars have gone. Um, but there's not me. Um, yeah, then they get to stay. But other than that, we're going to do it. I'm also going to clean the shelves at the same time. So it's going to be a pr long, protracted process. And I'm also going to dust the books. But I thought first, if I take the three stars out, I don't have to clean them. Someone else can clean them if they want to. Um, and then it's easier to move the other things around on my shelves to do my clean. So I'm going to start that now and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I've done the first four shelves over here and I'm going to go through, oh, I'm going to go through what's come out. So this copy of The Great Gatsby has come out, I have another copy and this one got water damaged, um, so that one is, it's too mouldy, it that one probably is going to have to go in recycling, yeah. make a recycling pile. Um, then I have Because They Wanted To by Mary Gatskill. I'm okay with letting this one go. I really enjoyed Veronica, um, but this one wasn't my favorite. So that one can be sold or donated depending on what I get for it. Um, I have The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. It's like a short story and I gave it three stars. Um, I'm tempted to keep it just because of how much I like Gillian Flynn and I've definitely lent out her books because that would mean I only have one left on my shelf. But, if I didn't love this one, and I can't see myself rereading it, I think I have to get rid of it. I think I'm either going to have like an instant yes or a no. Then I've decided it's time to get rid of my Jasper Ford books. Um, my mum gave these back to me. These were some books I loved as a child. Um, but they are all really, like, really sun damaged. Um, and whilst I did like them as a child, I can't see me rereading them. And they weren't a book, I was like, oh, I missed them, I'm going to go pick them up. Um, so I think they're probably good to go. Um, next is Ordinary People by Diana Evans. Also okay with letting go of this one. Um, it's got really bad, like, fluff on the, where the sticker was. I just tried to rub it off them, but it's not coming. Um, but I just didn't love it as much as everyone else. So that one can go. Um, these ones were unrated, but these are my two McSweeney collections. Um, and whilst I like the process of reading them, I don't like the way they look on my shelves and I can't see myself rereading them or buying more Mook Sweeney's. Um, so even though those didn't have a three star, I'm okay with letting them leave. Then Wonder Boys, I did give four stars to at the time and I really liked it when I read it. But I read it when I was like 20 and I think some of the books I read in like that phase, I probably wouldn't love as much today and I think Wonder Boys is probably one of them. Then the next one is Ender's Game, partly because I hate the cover, I did give this five stars, um, but I also feel like it's going to be really easy to get hold of again if I wanted it, and I also can't see myself rereading it. I did buy it for a specific video I did on my channel a long time ago, and I'm fine with, with it being passed on. Deception by Roald Dahl. Um, it feels a bit of a shame because I have two more up there, but I know there's also more of these. And I don't think I'm going to reread any of them, so it doesn't make sense to keep like three books I'm not going to reread with one of them I didn't like that much, so Deception's going to go. I feel like I'm doing really well, I feel like I'm not um, umming and ahhing that much. The only three stars, as I said, that are still up there are classics. Um, Confessions of the Lioness I also gave four stars to, I did enjoy reading it, but I can't see myself rereading it or recommending it, so it can leave. Who Was Changed and Who Was Dead is quite similar, I enjoyed reading it, I gave it four stars, just can't see myself rereading it, or like a situation in which I'd be recommending it, like it doesn't fit with lots of other books I really like. Um, so that one can go too, that one is really new, so I'm hoping that that one might sell. The Girls by Emma Klein, um, I have kept this for so long because it was the first ever proof I received, it came out on the 16th of June 2016. Um, but it can go, I can have more proofs now. And whilst it was a nice sort of like memory piece, um, I'm not gonna reread it and I didn't like it that much. So that one's gonna go in recycling because it's a proof. Foreign Soil uh, by Maxine Benabera-Clark. I know lots of people enjoyed this, I just didn't love it as much. 
pages for her is a hard one because it's part of a duology but I gave this one three stars, I gave the other one four stars. They are kind of the same book so I think I feel okay losing that one. Then The Loser, I did quite enjoy but I ended up giving it three stars. This is one of the ones I'm umming and ahhing about. What we're going to do, we're going to keep this in a maybe pile and then with a couple of others that I can see and then I'm going to have to fight it out um, between them at the end. I might give myself a certain number I can keep depending on how many I have left. Um, between a Wolf and a Dog I also gave four stars. I just can't see myself rereading it. The cover's gorgeous. I think that's why I've held on to it. The Accusation by Bandy is one I gave three stars but I think I am going to keep um, partly because it's like the only book at the minute I have about North Korea and I think it's one of the only books that's like come out of North Korea during everything about North Korea so I think I'm going to keep this one, this one's going to go in a keep pile but I do have to review my keeps at the end and see how many I've kept and whether I agree with my justifications. Crash by J.G. Ballard is a hard one because I do kind of count this as a bit of a classic um, but it was so like violent and nasty and so is American Psycho, it's really hard it's like a man who like has sex to car crashes I think I'm gonna keep it in my like yes but let's have a think Land Without Jasmine, again I enjoyed the process of reading it um, this one was quite hard to get hold of so I'm hoping I might be able to sell it um, I can't remember what country this was from but I read this one for my Around the World um, it's from Yemen, so this was like quite a hard one to get rid of and I did quite enjoy it, I read it in the airport on my way to Turkey um, so I think I'm going to try and sell that one and then Three Novels by Cesare Era, this was a three star but it is one I'm definitely keeping so we have three maybes, The Loser, Crash and The Accusation but Three Novels I'm keeping and that's because two of these stories were five stars, one was two so it could, if I gave something two I can't give it more than three stars overall um, but I love two of them so I want to keep it because it contains the two I love um, only other book I have out is the heartbreaking work of Staggering Genius by David Eggers because it's misshelved as fiction um, so I'm going to put this one back up and then carry on I have another three shelves on this bookcase to do it's going to be a long video okay I've now done all the shelves in here it took about two hours and I've got another pile of three stars so I'm going to go through, all, just like I did last time, um, I'm going to make another space um, and tell you whether I'm keeping them or not. I have Misery by Stephen King, I just didn't enjoy a lot of the others and I've got a load so that one can go. Before the Coffee Gets Cold was a nice little one but I didn't love it. Everything I found on the beach I kept because it matched the dig and I really liked the dig so that one can go. These two are hard, so the first I gave four stars, the second I gave three. Um, but I can't see myself continuing with the third book in the trilogy and I just enjoyed the first one much more so I think both of those can go too. Paradise Rot I did enjoy, I've talked about it before um, but I don't think I'd read it again. It's very similar if I have the right to destroy myself, I read this one fairly recently, liked it, wouldn't reread it. What I Love by Siri Hersvet, um, I think I don't get on with her as much as I would like to. Um, then How Should a Person Be by Sheila Hetty. I wanted to love this and I kept it because I love motherhood but I didn't love this one. Um, then slightly kind of controversially all of these had four or five stars um, but I was given them by an uh, ex that was very difficult in my life so I'm getting rid of them. If I ever want to read them again I can buy my own copies but I'm not going to have his copies. Surface Rights is another one, I actually gave it 5 stars but I think it's a bit like Wonder Boys, it was in that like 19 to 20s stage and I can't even remember what it's about really other than it's like, it's like a housing conflict. I loved it when I read it um, but I don't know that I'd read it again. So Lucky I gave 4 stars, this is like a retelling of a factual account of this woman's life um, but I think I just wouldn't pick it up again or rec I can't see myself recommending it with other books. Then Redeployment by Phil Kay. I have a couple of these, these are military books. These again I'm getting rid of not because I didn't enjoy the books but because 
I read them because I was with someone that was in the military and that relationship didn't go well and I don't need them anymore. Um, again, none of them are so special or so wonderful as books that I would keep them despite the kind of negative feeling I have around them. I just need to grab my pile that's further back. They're all very precarious. <laughs> Um, then I have Terminal Boredom. I spoke about this one recently. I like the beginning few short stories, but didn't enjoy the end ones. Empress and the Cake is one I gave up, I think, four stars to, but I can't remember it, so that one's going. Memento Mori is like one of the few classics that's going because I actively didn't like this book, um, and I didn't I just didn't find it that interesting. Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn is another. I did like it. It's just a bit like. Um, twee, I think. Um, and then I'm getting rid of my Ali Smiths. I've, every Ali Smith book I've read, I've given three stars. And I think she's just not for me. Home Fire, I did give four stars to, um, but I can't remember it that well. And it's like, I've clearly read it very fast. There's no lines on it at all. Similarly to Ali Smith, I gave both of Kate Russell's um, books three stars. So I've not read one of hers I've like really liked or loved. Galatia 2.2 by Richard Powell was a real disappointment, um, though I am still really interested to read Bewilderment. Um, 5 and 25 is another military one, so it has those like not nice memories. The Essex Serpent, I get why everyone else loved it, I didn't love it, I gave it 3 stars. Tristing, I really enjoyed, I got what I needed to get from it and now I'm ready to let go. Shut Up You're Pretty, again I gave four stars but I can't remember any of the stories inside this one. Birthday Girl by Haruki Murakami, Tom gave to me on my birthday. There's some emotional attachment to this one but I think I can let it go, it's mostly because it was a gift. Um, Homesick for Another World was my least favourite of the Atesha Moss bags. Whilst I really like her and I can understand the appeal of having a full catalogue, I think I'm just going to keep the ones that I have really loved. Satin Island, I remember enjoying it more than a three star, um, but I do trust past Sophie that if I had enjoyed it more, I would have probably given it a higher stars. Outer Dark is the only Cormac McCarthy that I didn't give a four or five, so that one can leave. Strange Hotel by Eamon McBride, I thought I'd like, just didn't enjoy it that much. Bottled Goods is one, I think it was, yeah, a women's prize, um, and I didn't love it that much. Different Seasons, that's another Stephen King, I'm sure I spoke about another Stephen King. It's just one of the ones I didn't like as much and because I have so much of him, if I was going to reread it, I'd rather reread one that I loved. Um, Under the Glacier, I like the process of reading it, um, but it was a very weird book and I don't recommend it often and I don't see myself reading it again. And The Bees, I gave five stars to, but I kind of feel like the joy in that one was reading it for the first time. Like I can't see myself enjoying it as much the next time round. So those are my next set of three star or a couple four star or even five star books that are going. Um, and that's, that is this room done. Um, I still have some, hang on, I'll show you. So that is now the space I have in here. I have cleaned all those, but they're still pretty grimy. Um, I think it needs a repaint. That's one of the things we want to do. Um, but I do have some paperbacks. I'll come around. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do have some paperbacks next door that I'm going to sort and meet in here. And then whatever the space is, the space is. I might maybe put some board games that we want to keep on this shelf. Um, if there's a gap, like, until I fill it back up again because I do fill books up. Um, also, the three we'd put as maybes, um, which are Crash, The Accusation, and The Loser, having sat on it for another hour, I'm okay, they can, they can go. We're doing, I feel like I'm doing really well. I feel like I'm being quite honest and quite like, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna try and tidy up the piles that are in here because I might, I think I might try the place I want to go to get rid of the stuff I cleared from the kitchen um, is like a little shop that sells stuff in like bigger quantities than you could donate to a charity shop and I think I might drive to that town, it is an hour's drive so it's like a, probably like a three hour round trip and it closes at four um, but I might do that today or I might do it tomorrow, the problem is I'm off my Cerakul tomorrow so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it tomorrow um, 
but I'd like to get rid of the stuff that's in my car because I've now got a lot of books um, to sort but let's put that to one side let's keep sorting my fiction I can get through my fiction today and I'll figure it out worst case I can dump it all in my car and then maybe do it next weekend um, so yes I'll talk to you again in a bit when I've got my next little pile um, but I'm gonna go next door and start in there now okay guys I've now done the hardbacks I'm just going to show you what I'm getting rid of again quickly. So We Wish You Luck by Carolyn Zankan, Verge by Lydia Ivanovich, Fake Accounts, The Last House on Needless Street, There There, The Warlow Experiment, Strange Library, by Haruki Murakami, Milk Blood Heat, Monogamy, Things We Say in the Dark, Hot Milk, Luster, The Wall, Reality and Other Stories, English Animals, I did give this four stars but I think I'm done with it. Everything Under by Daisy Johnson. Um, Memories of the Future by Siri Hesvet. The Removed by Brandon Hobson. The Flight of Cornelia Blackwood. The Shepherd's Heart, which I actually gave five stars, but I can't remember it that well. Women Talking by Miriam Toes. Animal by Lisa Tadeo. All That Man Is by David Slay. All of my Ali Smith, so that's Summer and Public Library. 10 minutes 38 seconds in this strange world. Objects of Desire, just because I couldn't remember them in my wrap up and I feel like it's only going to get worse over time. The Long Take, which I really liked but I'm kind of done with. The Discomfort of Evening, I really struggled with that one. White skin, black fuel, I just didn't get on with it, though I think it's a proof that one might need to be recycled. We've still got a couple more piles. Um, I'm running out of space to put them, I'm trying not to make a mess everywhere. Uh, the Porpoise by Mark Haddon. The Lying Lives of Adults by Elena Ferrente. Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Daddy by Emma Klein. Come Join Our Disease by Sam Byers. You know I didn't hate this one, but I'm definitely not rereading it. Milkman by Anna Burns. My Sister the Serial Killer. The Lost Art of Sinking. White Houses. The Catholic School, because I really am never going to read it. 4321 by Paul Oster. And then the last lot of paperbacks is The Remainder. NP by Benano Shimoto. All the Birds Singing. Red at the Bone. The Wife, this is my least favourite of the Meg Wallets as I've read. Birdie by William Wharton, which I read ages ago. Had a really soft spot for, but it's time. Uh, Little Scratch by Rebecca Watson. The Sickness by Alberta Berratiska. The Cabin at the End of the World. Down the Rabbit Hole. And Sandlands. It's a lot of books, if I pan over. Can you see them all, like, down here? Um, I think they'll fit as long as I clear the bottom shelf too. But you can see how dirty they are, like, it's been so much, like, gross cleaning. Um, and seeing as the volume of them is so high, I think I am probably going to try and sell them, which is why I'm bothering stacking them rather than taking them out to my car, just because there's so many um, that overall it might make sense. But I'll see. If I don't, if it doesn't come to, like, probably £75 for the ones that will sell. I won't bother because it's a lot of effort buying boxes and stuff. Um, but yeah, for now I'm going to clean that bottom shelf and I will turn around just to say goodbye. Hang on, let's go around. Let's say hi in my book mountain. Hi. Um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this. It's been a sweaty process. It's taken about four hours, but I'm feeling really excited. Um, I know that quite a few booktubers keep only their four and five star um, books and 
I get it, like I think that might be something I need to do but I also have to do it regularly because I like keeping books till I've wrapped them up so they end up on my shelves and then it's really hard to get them out. Um, but this feels like a lot, this is probably the most books I've ever unhauled I think in one go before. Maybe I did a few more when we moved um, but it's been a progress, it's been a thing. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed, I'll see you guys again soon in my next video when I'm a bit less sweaty. Um, I will at some point film a part two to this, doing non-fiction, which is all upstairs, that's how I differentiate my books. Um, but I'll see you guys again soon in my next video, whatever that may be, and look after yourselves until then. Bye!